Happy Sunday guys, happy Sunday guys. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here in Tokyo Station guys. It is a long weekend. I'm going to Osaka. You stick out of the crowd, baby, it's a no-brainer. It ain't the hard to choose. Him and me be for real, baby, it's a no-brainer. That's right guys, I'm going to Osaka. Thought I'd just get out of Tokyo for a bit. I've had quite a rough couple weeks at work and I just want to get out, man. So I'm just getting my Shinkansen ticket for the bullet train and get her going. So I'm taking the Nozomi 429 train guys at 554 but before I take the train, before I go to the platform, one quintessential thing you have to do when you take the bullet train here in Japan, you got to get an Iki bin which is like a sort of a train special bento box here so I'm going to get one of those. Super excited, I haven't been on the bullet train probably in a couple of years when I was with my parents and little brother going to Osaka, going to Kyoto on family holiday so it's been a while, empty seats, let's go. Look at that, beautiful. I'm gonna eat my uh, ikiben now guys, super excited for this one. Right, this is beef. Very good. Very quality, bro. Much, much, much later. Pace in the pocket. I pray that it's not a flush. Pace in the walking. You say that it's not a... It's made it to the hotel entrance, guys. I'm staying at a place called Fairfield by Marriott. I think it's like a sort of economy version of Marriott. Here in sort of the number area of Osaka. I'm just gonna check in now and uh, man, I'm puffed, bro. Ugh. Let's go, boy. Just got inside the room, guys. As you can see, smooth check in. Nice place. Just gonna relax and chill, bro. Nick Minute. Gonna head outside, guys, and get a feed. Just a bit of outfit action. Got my sort of vintage long sleeve from New York Joe's I got a couple weeks ago. Nice vintage coach leather brown pouch thingy. Just some raw hems from Uniqlo DIYs and 1461 docks, you know. Random place that I don't even know. Apparently it's the strongest ramen in Osaka. So. And uh, apparently it's been on TV before as well, so I might as well check it out. Ramen just arrived, guys. Looks super good, super black. Got a bit of kimchi as well. I'm just gonna enjoy my meal tonight guys and I'll catch you guys tomorrow big day of vintage shopping I hear that I'm looking forward to no Osaka See you guys later Let's go. Good morning guys welcome back to Osaka day two in Osaka I'm looking forward to this one Such a beautiful day today guys real good timing Look at that So plan of attack today guys gonna check out some vintage shopping here in Osaka I've done a bit of research hopefully the Google's still accurate, but uh, we'll see. I'm really excited actually. I've heard a lot about some of these shops too, so hope you can find some good stuff today. Build a Harley Davidson, stays here. Relatively decent price. Four five, what was that? Four five, three nine, three nine. Got a rack full just all of Tommy's, Tommy pullovers, Tommy quarter zips. About 5,000, 6,000, real decent selection as well. Polo sort of Oxfords and button ups, all in different assortments, colorway, stripe. Here you got your polo polos as well, rugby's, and it's more sort of casual button ups here. Just trying on these sort of charcoal corduroys with the elasticated sort of waist waistband. Pretty crop fit. So these are the blue pair guys. A bit more full length but similar fit. So I'm gonna take these, this pair. Pretty good fit. I'm just deciding whether or not to take the blue or the charcoal. Well done with Kaka, Kaka Vaka guys. Like I was saying before, super super good. End up picking up some of those pants. Next door is sheep used in new clothing as you guys can see. Classic, classic, classic. This is my steez right there. Polo, Tommy, Nordica, you name it. Might go inside, I don't know, but it looks pretty good. Shout out 
Sheep was awesome guys, sheep was awesome. The girl working there was super nice and super steezy as well. I've got to take a bit of that steez, you know. Next shop guys is called Grizzly from my understanding. Looks pretty decent. I might just check it out, go inside. Got a bit of Kugi style right there, some rugby's. Some stuff here on the outside rack as well, which looks pretty decent. Decent. Let's go inside, check it out. So I just came from, what was that shop called? Grizzly. Pretty much 20 meters away is the big guy, Magnets. From my understanding, these guys are one of the most famous ones here in Tokyo. And just looking at it from the outside, it looks very, very similar to Whistler and Koenji back in Tokyo, back home in Tokyo. So I'm excited. It's probably going to be a lot of work. We're a lot of military, sort of vintage type of style. I'm looking forward to going inside and seeing how it looks. Honestly guys, I was not expecting this at all. Super, super, super impressed. Honestly, you gotta, if you go to Osaka, you gotta check this part of it out. Honestly, wow. Wow, bro, bro. Magnet was mean, bro. Next shop, guys, Florida. Florida. This looks very, very similar to Flamingo in Tokyo. I don't know if it's related or not. Obviously, they got the same logo, different name, same F. Nice Carhartt vest right here, how much is that? 90s, 10800. Ah, man. I'm gonna go inside, check it out, eh? They even actually have a tray fact here, guys. Tray fact's kind of like, similar to sort of Don Don Down, similar to sort of Ragtag, more sort of the high-end type stuff. In addition to, you know, these typical sort of workwear and streetwear too, I definitely recommend it if you're looking for that sort of genre of, uh, of clothing. Holy crap. <laughs> Far out, bro. Just a bit of outfit action, guys. Got vintage polo button up, vintage coach, Uniqlo U basic tees, Cole Buxton shorts, wallabies, the Hermes window. Gotta use my phone, eh? Louis. Decent price, 25k, 35k. Another shop, guys, Kindal. I think it's gonna be the same as sort of that trade back kind of style, but cheers. I knew Osaka had some fashion guys that honestly exceeded the expectations so much and I'm pretty happy, you know. I'm pretty I'm pretty gassed out and haven't had lunch yet and uh, I don't know man, I'm gonna get a feed and just kinda cool down. Pretty overwhelmed bro, like honestly I was not expecting this at all. Big respect to that guy for rocking the Scotty Pippen jersey. He knows what's up. I think there's one more shop I might go to guys before I Get some food. Here we are guys. I've shown them off on my channel before. Skits, for me in my opinion, one of the best consignment sneakers shops here in Japan. And I guess there's one in Tokyo, one in Kichi Georgia, and this one is the Osaka branch. I think I've been here one time before with my little brother and my dad, actually a couple years ago, so. Guys, I've been walking around for about 15-20 minutes now. On my way to a destination, it's called Kuramon Market. It's like, I don't know, street full of different sort of food, desserts, seafood, all that stuff. I'm gonna get a feed there and enjoy. Let's <laughs> finish with that place, guys. Super good, super fresh. Pretty good. <laughs>
He cannot speak English. Pretty good for 500 yen for those two. So I think there's a couple more things that are still open, hopefully, and um, finish off my food there. At. Next minute. Couldn't find anything else open, guys. So went to the old reliable conveyor belt sushi. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit, just rest, get a couple plates in me. Finished with the sushi train, guys. Just gonna get one more snack before I go home and take a rest. It's gonna be a bit of takoyaki, kind of like squid octopus balls. I think I found a store just down there before, so I'll go there, check it out. Eh? Sitting on the side of the street, pretty much opposite the takoyaki place I got this, guys. Six pieces, 400 yen. I haven't had takoyaki in so long, so should be good there. Ace in the pocket. I pray that it's not a flush, pacing and walking. You say that it's not.